you mentioned Regina and Regina for our generation. She's she's such an incredible actress and person. We yeah in person. Yeah, we have watched this woman do so many of the the you know the movies that we all know and love. And she's and not finished. Her, you know the she's exactly. Not she's she's just getting started. Yes. Um, but she went through so much in her personal life, and like you said, that that's for her to speak about. But yes. you know, she's had it rough, but she still carries herself with such grace and dignity. I love you know? it. Oh, she got me started. Um, like the what you'll talk about later. But she and the twins got me started on Twitter back in nineteen ninety whatever it was, because and they were just on the phone, on the phone, on the phone. I was like, "What are you doing?" So we're on Twitter. I said, why? <laughs> it keeps you current and relevant. And I was like, who cares? <laughs> but they got me on Twitter. Regina got me on a show. Well, we went on a show together. Watch what happens with Andy Cohen. And when we were in the building, we got into the building, what, 8 o'clock when we did the interview. By the time we left that interview and went back to the limousine, I had 300,000 followers. That's when I got it. Are you serious? That, I'm serious. That's when I got it. That's when I knew the value of the internet and social media. I got a person right then and there to handle it. Because people are like, I'm doing it myself. I said, there's no way I have time for that. I knew then. So I got on Twitter and, of course, Facebook, uh, Instagram. And to this day, I have the same person. It really, I saw the difference. That's when I got it. From the show, I'm talking about steps to the car. Because we went on the show. Look it up. You watch mm -hmm. it. You'll see why. It wasn't my best day. <laughs> it was, <laughs> we started. What, what he's doing on that show now, Regina and I started. Uh, woo, I was a mess. what they say? A hot mess? I was a, a hot, hot mess. mess. I was a hot mess. <laughs> well, what's your platform of choice? Is, is Twitter your platform of choice? No. So Instagram is the... I think that Twitter has got weakened... Because uh, you don't know what the truth is. Or, you know, I don't believe nothing I read on the internet. You just have to check it out and check it out and check it out. But Twitter has become less of what it was. Instagram mm -hmm. is still, you know, I don't believe in TikTok because of what's happening with young people. I mean, it's very entertaining, but I'm no, I'm, I'm way ahead of you, Prez. I'm into you know, AI. I'm into chat, GBT. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. I, was say, <laughs> I tried to tell you. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, that's Absolutely. a whole discussion for and, another and, day. And I'm scared, I'm scared to death of it all. Like, it, when don't it comes to this AI... Don't be. You get on it. It's inspiring. You've like, been you on ChatGPT? Yeah. But it takes some doing to get on there. And then when you get on there, you have to be careful. But it's inspiring. It makes you think you're the smartest person in the galaxy. Because it will enlighten you. And if you're right, say you're writing 10 words and you go, okay, I got an idea for them a play or a movie, and you write it down, you feed it into this thing, it starts producing stuff, and you go, oh, yeah, let me explore that. It makes you reach. It's it's good and bad, but the good, I think, outweighs the bad. Whoever's, what do they call it? The human staffers, they call them, the people that feed the info into the, the app. That's it. But I mean, try it. No, I recommend it. I'm sorry. I'm one of those. I know what people are saying. It could be dangerous, but it's far more inspiring. This young man sitting up here, he need to get on, sitting right there, he need to get into it right now. This is the future. The 30, uh, 30 to 35-year-olds, they should be controlling the AI, to me. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, it, that, that's one thing that's going to have to wait, because <laughs> I am scared to death of AI. I oh, truly am. Somebody going to get you a, one night, you're going to be somewhere in a club, somewhere, you're going to go somewhere, and they're going to put you in it, and you're going to go, she was right. I'm telling you. Especially for what you're doing. It only helps. It really does. But you'll see. It ain't a Darth Vader. It ain't the dark side. You won't go to the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm going to tell you, I'm so impressed sitting down talking to you because you you really do have your finger on the pulse of everything. In this conversation, you done mentioned Megan Thee Stallion, um, AI. Like, there, there's almost no topic that we have touched on that... You're like, oh, I don't know about that. Oh, I haven't heard of this person. Do you make a conscious effort to stay this tapped in? Yes. 
with the young people I work with. And it's a conscious effort. It's not unconscious. But uh, I definitely choose with whom I, you know, mingle with and go out with and talk with, as I'm sure you do, even though you don't mm-hmm. think about it. You probably know a lot of people. But there are just a few people you absolutely, you know, talk to and get to understand. And in my case, I've gotten lucky enough for these younger people. They won't let me stay home. They take me. It, I tell you, went to the opera last night to see Othello uh, on a Thursday night. Um, and I've been to the opera, you know, many times. I said, but to see a black man do it, which is very rare. You know, it sounds so because it is about a more a black man, you know. Mm hmm. Killing a white woman. <laughs> Desdemona. <laughs> I just throw that in. That's a little joke, you know. Um, <laughs> but uh, it was enlightening. And I went with these young ladies, you know, and they got it going on. You know, they are not scared. They paid the bill. They paid for my dinner. They paid for the opera. You know, it, And but they made me work. They did, I couldn't just sit and be the grand dame. Uh-uh. We went in there and we mingled and. I got, you know, I got a little mobbed. It was weird. I, I need some pepper spray. <laughs> Come on. You used to it by now. Uh-uh. Cut it out. Uh-uh. This is new. This is di- You know, we haven't been out. The pandemic. But I don't want to talk about the pandemic. I'm so over the pandemic. Aren't you? It's like, please. Ugh. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm here in New York. The pandemic. It hit y'all first. It, it hit us like no other place no other place on a, oh my goodness so yes i am over the pain and god and, and and i still pray for those who have lost people those who still are affected by that that covid 19 my god mm-hmm. 